Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing this look right here, which is a brown smoky eye that was highly requested on my Instagram poll. <laughs> so I did take the poll, obviously, along with the other purpley uh, tutorial I did. Purple one right away, so I did that one. But I obviously, at the end of the whole entire poll, the brown one won, and I was like, yikes i should have done the brown one but of course i didn't want to let you guys down so i hope all of you that voted are here right now right now because if not i'm gonna be upset because i did this for you guys i hope this is very simple um not simple it's i mean it's very dramatic but i meant like simple as in not too many steps and it's only in one palette so hopefully it's not hard to achieve and of course like always the trick i got you guys with will help you stay um very clean and sharp so yeah, without any further ado, let's stop talking and get right into the video. Alright guys, so welcome back. Um, I'm just going to quickly go through what I already did. So I obviously already did my brows off camera. Um, and then I used the tape to put on the side of my eyes. That way you can get a really cut, crisp, um, clean eyeshadow look. Um, I'm going to be using the Morphe, what is this, C265. A concealer to put this on my lids and then I'm gonna blend that out really quickly well and then I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how we're gonna start the eye look so I kind of just wanted to make a quick disclaimer um, and I'm not here to make anybody feel bad for me or any of that stuff but if I do sound off or look off it's just because I literally had a mental breakdown right before I filmed this video. I don't know if I should even be filming it. Um, I was gonna film it another day or another time to get my mind right but you know I have things to do and this is one of them and it's 2020 and I'm trying my hardest to work to get where I want this year especially with the baby coming I have big goals and plans for myself or for us I should say um I feel like anytime I'm like let down or I'm not really having a good day I just think about him sorry I had to stop the camera for a second but I'm just filming this because I want everybody to know that this is real life and no one's life is perfect including mine and we all have bad days and it's okay to have bad days because the good ones outweigh the bad ones <clears throat> but I just feel like if I'm really gonna start being on YouTube I need to be um, more open I don't know with necessarily with everything there's some things obviously that I want to keep private but I do want everyone to know that it's okay to have your bad days and it's okay to talk to people just make sure you trust the right people by telling your things too because you obviously don't want your business out there or you don't want people to judge you the wrong way there's some people who will still judge you unfortunately so yeah <clears throat> anyways i don't want to make this part too long i know you guys are here for the youtube tutorial so i'm gonna try to get back to just being myself and doing the look you guys are here for obviously um gotta get these creases out I'm just gonna refix these and then um so the first thing we're gonna do is use the I think I'm gonna actually use the Jaclyn Hill palette um either this palette or the 39A palette by Morphe um I'm gonna be obviously creating the brown smoky eye that was requested on my Instagram so bear with me Okay, so I decided I think I might fluctuate between the both of them. Um, this is the Morphe 39A, obviously. Um, so the first um, the first shade I'm going to be going into is this orange shade right here um, in the 39A palette. Okay, focus, please. Yes, this shade right here, which is a nice burnt orange. And I'm going to be going in with my brush with my morphe m502 brush i'm just going to be spreading this all up in the crease and um bringing it like not too far down but not too far up i guess so you want to just extend it a little bit out that way you can really get that uh sharpness of the um tape line 
And then I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing to the other eye as well. And you want to extend this all the way out as well to the tape line. And then do the same thing to the other eye. I'll be back to show you guys after I'm done. So now that both of those oranges are done, we're going to start going into the actual browns. So I'm going to be taking, you want to kind of work your way up um, as far as the browns from kind of the lightest brown to the darkest. I'm going to be taking my city, still, I'm going to be taking my city color cosmetic CCE01 brush and I'm going to be going in with this light brown shade right here, which is the second row, third shade over. And I'm going to start packing that onto the lid. I'm not going to be rubbing this. I'm just going to be packing this. So literally. If you do want a much um, more intense brown color here on the lid, you can always clean it up with a little bit of concealer and then start pressing. But because I kind of want like a whole smoky eye, like a whole brown smoky eye, I am not going to clean that up. So we're going to just press, press, press all up on the lid area. And then so now that that light brown's uh, done, I'm going to go, like I said, and work my way um, into much deeper browns. So let's see, I'm going to actually go into this brown right here at the bottom, which is this is like a macchiato brown, like something like that this is more like an actual like poo poo brown sorry to say that was the only color I could really get that I, I guess it looks like so you're gonna start packing that on and trust me when I say that the tape really helps especially with cleansiness especially if you're new to this because um, it'll just really help you like keep it clean like once you pull it off it'll look like you're pro at blending you know what I mean so I'm gonna go ahead and do that to the other eye so this is just about building color everything always is about building color and blending so I obviously have not blended out the um, that like burnt orange shady yet because I'm waiting to pack all my browns on first and then going back into that burnt orange shade to help the browns mix in with the burnt orange. So now lastly, the last brown I'm going to take is this really dark brown right here, which is right next to the brown I just used. This one you want to be careful with, so if you want to tap off the excess, you can because this one's about to get really intense, so just letting you know. More about like... Oh my god, I don't know what the hell I just did. It's more about like testing, but I don't want to test with too many rounds because then it's going to look really chalky and dirty. Okay, so now that I'm done with both of those browns, we're going to go back into the first shade, which was the Morphe M502 with the burnt orange from the 39A. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I did not end up using the Jaclyn Hill palette at all. So now we're going to go back into the burnt orange and just blend these browns and the orange together here. All right. So now that I'm done with the eyes, I'm gonna put my lashes on and then peel the tape off and then I'll come back to show you guys what our next step is. Okay, so now that I finished up the lashes and um, actually I have not pulled the tape off. I actually wanted to show you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull them off at the same time and now I look like a crazy lady. All right, so do you guys see how sharp this is? Like, yes, I love cleansiness. Is that a word yeah that is a thing <laughs> um i love how clean and sharp it looks so i just kind of wanted to show you guys so with my finger just kind of dust off a little bit of the excess shadow that fell out because let's get real nobody wants that it looks crappy so then i'm going to go in with the morphe concealer again and then just lightly touch up the um sides here because I want it to look as clean as possible. That's the look that I'm really going for. Whoa, I'm always dropping stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out. My face is like super red right now. I think I'm crying and from all the heat of these lights that I'm filming by. Okay, so now that I'm done cleaning up the bottom part of the eye a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and do my foundation and 
I think the my concealer yeah my concealer which will be the morphe again and then I'll come back to show you guys what shadows and brushes I use for the bottom lash line as well all right so I went ahead and cleaned up the face um, and I used obviously my Maybelline go to super stay foundation I used the beauty bakery flower powder to set my under eyes I didn't set too close to the um, lash line because obviously like I said I was gonna come back and show you guys the bottom lash line so I'm gonna be taking this no named no numbered brush but it's like a flat brush but it's not like super dense it's pretty kind of fluffy not I don't know not that fluffy but anyways I'm gonna be going into that dark brown that I went into um, for the actual lid and I'm gonna be running this right under the lash line to um, intensify why can I not find the brown <laughs> to intensify the like to really give it like that nice brown smoky eye so you want to make sure you don't uh, take it down too far because then it's gonna look you got punched in the face and that's definitely not the look we're going for so just make sure you press and then you kind of rub because if you press first it'll take most of the product off of your brush and then if you rub it'll help you um, like blow out the color and then the next thing we're gonna do is take a I don't think these are called pencil brushes. I don't know what the heck these are called, honestly. This is the e.l.f. Professional Blending Eye Brush, though, and it's much, much fluffier. I just finished washing my brushes a few days ago, so some of them still look a little raunchy, like this one, because I haven't reused it yet. Um, but then I'm going to be going into the Burnt Orange again in this palette, tapping off the excess as well, and then running it right underneath that um, dark brown that we just put on, because we want to give it, like, a... I guess kind of ombre effect but it's not even really the same color but you want to use the same color scheme obviously so that's why I'm gonna use this orange here and we're just gonna keep blending because I don't want anything to look harsh so I'm gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing to the other eye and we'll come back and actually I'm gonna finish up the face as well to kind of just show you guys um, the whole face together and then I'm gonna show you the last last part that I'm super excited about that might just add that extra touch you may want or may not want but I think it's gonna really pull the eye look together so yeah I'll be back so I went ahead and finished up the look I decided to just finish it up that way I could come on here and show you, show you guys everything that I used so I think I left off on after the powder so I did use the Morphe concealer I think I mentioned that I used it for the whole entire look and then I did use today my artist couture um, highlighter in the shade Illuminati yes and then I used um, so I was actually debating between my gold flakes and these like little tiny I don't know if the camera's gonna pick this up they're like gold little tiny what is this uh come on pick this up they're like little circles I guess you can say I decided that I just use the gold flakes because I don't recall where I got these from and I was like okay let me give them something that they can actually purchase and use so these gold flakes I've got them on Amazon in a pack of I don't know if it was six or eight but it comes with four gold and four silver so I did use the gold ones the gold flakes are a little difficult to use because they come in chunks and you have to like peel them off and they do get stuck to things very quickly including your nails so I just use the lid all the time to like crush them and peel them into the size I want and then put them on my eyes or wherever you want to put them and then I did use the glitter glue by Too Faced to put that in the inner corner that way the gold flakes can stick and my lips obviously so they actually kind of clashed more than I wanted them to but it's okay it's not really a big deal I think the only thing I would do is add a little bit of nude in the middle and maybe gloss I'm not really too sure but for now these lips these lips these colors combine will work um, this is the Kylie Cosmetics lip liner in the shade ginger and this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the shade Ashton so I like the way this look came out like I said other than the lips but it'll totally work I would still go out like this and I'm comfortable so I think I pretty much explained everything um, and I did just put mascara on my bottom lashes um, I don't think anything else other than to finish off your entire look with some Mac fix plus okay and then um, or any rose water any spray you have at all I do like to fan mine out once I'm done oh my god I just wet my backdrop didn't I wait 
Oh yeah, I did. Oh well. I do like to fan out my um my face after I spray anything. That way it doesn't just sit and it kind of just like really grasp into your skin because if skin because i feel like when it sits it just makes like those little spots kind of like that on your backdrop but on your face so i like to really just um fan it out um i think that's pretty much wraps up this tutorial i hope it wasn't too long again like i said i really want to get down into the actual parts of the tutorial because like i said you guys can always ask for anything you guys want to see in the comments below um don't forget to like please if you would like to or dislike but let me know why you disliked it because you can't just dislike it and like not let me know why there obviously had to be a reason why so let me know why <laughs> and then don't forget to subscribe please i lost three subscribers in the last what like two months i don't know why i don't know how i'm sorry that my content wasn't for you it's totally cool though i mean no big deal not everybody is for everyone so yeah, I hope you guys are having a great week, and until next time, I will see you guys on the channel. Bye, guys.